hepatitis is now a silent killer. Now, this is where even worldwide, everybody, they worry about them. Tonight, on Top 30 Minutes. She make Nigerians the fear for the virus, with them they call hepatitis. The way as the thing they transmit, if you drop hepatitis blood for table now, mm -hmm. even if you dry, you still feel infected person. Medical doctors from Nigeria, them get informed about this virus. Any doctor with uh, a proper doctor will not say hepatitis now virus and virus not get treatment. Our laboratories for inside Nigeria get the better equipment to take test person for hepatitis. For Nigeria, ah, then they detect hepatitis. It's easy. We have rapid test. What do we need now? Your blood, only blood. And also, we could find out what we fit do to protect ourselves from this bad virus. Even though they get hepatitis, there is hope. People talk say you not get any other virus we was past HIV and AIDS and even Ebola. Well, you feel they true and you feel not they true. But you don't hear about hepatitis. Now, according by recent research, the talk say about 23 million Nigerians now they suffer from hepatitis. Now that now why our topic for today is very important. Hepatitis is not something where they affect people for inside we of the world. And that now why medical experts don't come outside the vet say with the way they affect Nigerians, the thing don't receive little attention for inside Nigeria. People not to know about them. Today on top 30 minutes, we're going to do waiting. We're going to break the silence with the on top hepatitis for inside Nigeria. My name now Uwe Ehiga Musoy and this now, 30 minutes on top was Obia TV. Medical experts describe hepatitis as silent killer because it is very easy for person to collab this virus. Now, as we did research, we discover say you get one disease with a silently kill plenty Nigerians and nobody knows about them. Hepatitis. Now, if you tell us what the hepatitis they're all about. Hmm. Hepatitis is now a silent killer. Hmm. Now, this is where even worldwide, everybody, they worry about them. Because um, worldwide, they account for almost 400 million for people who get chronic hepatitis, that is. And um, every year, almost 1 million, they die every year from complications of hepatitis, which is majorly liver cancer. So yes, hepatitis is not a serious problem. And back home in Nigeria, studies don't show, say, um, almost 70% of Nigeria don't get evidence, say, whether they still get the infection now, now, or whether they don't get them before. So yes, hepatitis is not a serious silent killer. We get five types of hepatitis. We get hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis A and E, they affect people for inside the world of the world. And our food, where you don't get contaminated, water or fruits, or even vegetable, where you don't wash well, then they cause this badness. Infection with hepatitis A virus, in order to lead to serious disease, as anybody will get them, fit to recover from them fully. But B, C, and D, they different. Now, B, C, and D, now a person touch blood where he gets hepatitis, and this one they lead to serious biggie. Hepa, to hepata, na liver. Okay. Okay, hepatitis, na disease of the liver. That's all it means. It means a inflammation day for the liver. The liver don't get disease caused by this virus. So we call them virus viral hepatitis so now virus will affect liver so we call them viral hepatitis okay okay so that nine big disease as you talk a b c d d okay. to me in fact now a be the commonest one oh. yes because with a you drink water you go to toilet you know wash hand and uh, you go book a, you get hepatitis with you get hepatitis a okay okay that's why when you travel Okay, like if they travel from England, go to uh, most countries, they will give you injection for hepatitis A, but not for hepatitis B. Okay, unless you really go high risk place where hepatitis B plenty. 
But normally the hepatitis A they will give you injection for. Because now that is the one you can easily catch. Okay. And, and they all affect the liver. So Okay. It's, it's empty. Now according to you say hepatitis A, if you get them from water, then you not wash your hand. Yes. B you call happens if you get B and then happens if you get C. B C D. Now the same method of this is now blood. Yeah. Blood and exchange of liquid. As we they talk so, about 50 million people now they suffer from hepatitis B for inside Africa. Compared to 34 million people, we get HIV and AIDS and 22,859 cases of Ebola. Now, even with this one, many people still not know about this big way hepatitis they cause. Well, we they try from our own small society, we be the Society for um, Gastroenterology and Hepatology in Nigeria, we they make noise. It be like say our noise no no loud too much. They, I'm happy that we they do this one. Are they happy say we they do this kind of thing with you? So maybe whether you people go help us broadcast and where we so that everybody go understand say this thing they with us and they cause trouble, they cause cancer and they lead to death. World Health Organization, Dr. Motok say like 1.4 million people now they die every year from hepatitis. Even recent research talks say viral hepatitis now the eighth leading cause of death for entire world the world. About half a million people get hepatitis B and C and this kind of chronic infection, they're responsible for 57% of liver wahala we person they get and also 78% of liver cancer. This one can make the Center for Disease Control, Common Talk say, hepatitis, they 50 to 100 times more infectious pass HIV. The reason why they talk like that, they say, the way as the thing they transmit. If you drop hepatitis blood for table now, mm-hmm. even if it dry, you still feel infect person. You know, so that means that if you go to, if, you, if a man go bad in hair, and the, the keeper touch one person, and even the blood, the tiny blood, where you know if you see like microscopic blood, if you stay under that clipper and you touch another person's blood, you feel get an infection. So that's because of the, the mode of transmission where we know, say, ah, this thing, we like say, unlike HIV, if it was in no day for body, we finish with that. But for hepatitis, even after one week, the thing will still infect the person. So it is, it is really, the thing is still, they serious where we'll pass HIV. Hepatitis B and C, now the most deadly form of hepatitis, and they kill fast. And I be the new silent virus where they kill plenty of Nigerians today. According by research, them talks say about 20 million Nigerians now they live with hepatitis B virus. Okay, we do research and they talk say B and C now one of the deadliest um, type of hepatitis. Why? Why are they very deadly? They are deadly because then they progress to chronic disease of the liver. The hepatitis get stage, they get acute stage, but they get chronic stage. Mm-hmm. The acute one now, when it, after the first six months, the thing will go. Mm-hmm. Once it passes six months, it don't cause them chronic. Mm-hmm. For hepatitis B, because the thing plenty well well for Nigeria, like I talk about, say almost 70% of Nigeria get evidence of present to, or whether they get the disease now or they didn't go back before. Or right now, even up to about 13, up to 15% get and evidence of chronic infection with hepatitis. So the thing they say, if um, if the thing plenty rich like this, is now uh, we suppose worry because it can cause from chronic hepatitis, it will cause something where they call liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis now when um, the liver tissue you don't replace scar scar tissue don't replace the liver tissue, and from that time that one and that one could come result into um, liver cancer. So we suppose worry say, ah, this thing really cause liver cancer like that. And of course, hepatitis C too. But the good thing about that one is, you know, they come on too much for this country. That the B, now be our main problem. Now for Europe, America, China, now in the C, plenty well. But C too, get the D deadly. But as you know, plenty rich B. Now in the B pass, you see, for, 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 for Nigeria. 
Hepatitis B is a serious liver infection where if it leads to liver failure, liver cancer, and even condition where if it causes biggie for liver. It could not be thing where they take from drinking water or mosquito bite you or something you get from the air. No. Hepatitis B, you have to you have to get mixed blood directly or indirectly with person. So you can't even get it from kissing. Oh. You can't get it from hugging. Many people they go on with their day-to-day activity without seeing them know if them get this virus or not. For so many cases, when person sick, then they assume say na malaria. Because malaria now one of the sickness where they affect plenty of Nigerians. Now as a matter of truth, the symptoms for malaria, it be like the symptoms where you forget on top of hepatitis. This kind of disease where they keep plenty of Nigerians silently. I feel we feel all the symptoms because people go one know. Mm. What's it be the symptoms of hepatitis? Now part of the problem with that, for most time you know they get symptoms. So you know they show for face. Really? You know they show for face for most times. Okay. But sometimes they get what they call like jaundice. The jaundice now when the white part of the eye is yellow. Sometimes they feel tired every time it's tired. Sometimes they get, do like saying I'm malaria, you get fever today, body pain tomorrow, tiredness tomorrow. Sometimes even a body pain. Then sometimes they come with complications. Some people the first time we then go tell and say they get hepatitis now when they present with liver cancer. So some people, when the symptoms on, they start small, small. You will like say problem, don't start with that. But so for most people, you know the show. You will not know. Hepatitis B fit a fat person for years without say issue for face or for body. But big problem did here. Hepatitis B fit spread as person fit not even know say in get them and fit without say in know pass the virus give another person. Apart from blood, which other ways person can get them? If you get them through sex, if you practice the, if you know wear protection, uh, if you get them through um, a household, even toothbrush, you know, some people with the toothbrush? Yeah. Yes, toothbrush. The reason with toothbrush, we say if you, you know, sometimes if you brush, blood will come out and the blood, now small blood where you know goes, no. And another person use the same one, blood, blood touch, it touch another person blood. So that, that way, and small, small, even nail clipper. I they see all these malas, like they carry uh, clipper, they will carry nails. So one, suppose don't know, say, obviously anything with blood touch another one. Perfectly. Even um, if they take injection for quacks, we, they know they clean the blood or, or, or everybody where they get tattoo now. Another man use the same tattoo instrument without sterilizing. They don't do the. They don't sterilize the thing well and use them for another another person. If we catch them like that, so yes, through blood, through um, um, body fluids, um, the semen and all that. So that's not so the thing they get transmitted. So find out more about hepatitis for inside Nigeria. I go online, and it will surprise you. Waiting, I see. Now, on top one popular website, where they for inside internet, where they call Naira Land, I discovered some kind group chat where be they happen for them. And this chat, it happened during by the time of June 9, 2012. And on top of this chat, I find out say plenty Nigerians be they reveal say them get hepatitis, but the thing be say them not know what to do about them. As I also dig more, I see one article where John Adamu writes for Punch newspaper during by the time of March 5th, 2012. And he come out to talk plenty of things. He talks say over 10 doctors where he meet after they tell and say he get hepatitis. Only two now know how to manage hepatitis for inside Nigeria. Talk about hepatitis management for inside Nigeria. You still say many doctors know how to manage hepatitis. Yes. Any doctor we don't, <laughs> a proper doctor will not say hepatitis now virus and virus not get treatment. So uh, the treatment now to treat the symptoms. Okay, the symptoms of headache, body pains, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain and all that. The virus will treat, will cure itself. You know, but if you not cure itself, then it become more and more 
serious. And at that time, because all the time, we had away with the day. Now, John Adamu also come out talk say, waiting was be say, many Nigerian doctors, they tell patients where you get hepatitis, say make them go out, make them no worry. Sometimes they see people, they will say they don't meet doctor and doctors say uh, everything is fine, go and sleep. Some, they will say the doctor scare them, then now they can't keep their mouth shut, you know, so it'd be like say they know to know. So it is it's very important to make all, even all the doctor make them, they do research, they check for internet or they do updates to know waiting hepatitis B now. And right now, waiting, um, waiting the kind of treatment which suppose, uh, they, they suppose they offer their patient. If they know, say they know Sabine treater, I mean, they refer to refer the patient to the specialist, uh, gastroenterologist, right? They call people will be the specialist um, to, to know how to handle the. So, you think where you know, no, you know Sabine know how to manage them. So, anywhere where your hand reach, where you know if you do again, just pass them to the experts. We go free, tell the patient the truth and explain how they go treat them. Inside the article, John Adamu also addressed the fact say laboratories for inside Nigeria no get better equipment to take detect hepatitis. He talks to the latest technology where be fibro scan where them they use to check them. See many lab for Nigeria no get them. Plenty of people don't come outside talk say Nigeria no get the updated technology that one of the fibro scan to actually um, check for hepatitis. You believe so? Um, we don't get fibro scan for Nigeria. Not true. The fibro scan are uh, one new machine we we do we do people does produce it go tell us to see whether uh, the fibrosis the corner of fibrosis mm. and the scar where they did for the liver to see the extent and that can determine whether the how the the virus don't spoil the liver rich. But we don't get fibro scan for Nigeria, yes. But some people they do and for body you will bring the reports come fine if you feel do that. But if you know feel do, no we say now that won't be the only thing that we can do to, de- to make the diagnosis. We can use even ultrasound to make the diagnosis, or we can do what we call a liver biopsy. Liver biopsy now when they carry small tissue, take needle, puncture the liver, take small tissue, analyze that for laboratory, or even use the standard uh, viral load test. So the fibrous can no be saying are compulsory requirements okay. for, for diagnosis. Okay. No, it is not even compulsory for monitoring. Okay. Now when they are available, as we know get and we get other things where we they use. So if they get bring fibro scan report, fine. If you no bring them, fine. No be saying now compulsory. I must do fibro scan before I start treatment. To find out if this one are true, we carry our car into one lab we did for inside Lekki, Lagos State. So make we talk about hepatitis now. How you take the test for them? Because plenty of people don't come out and talk say it be like say Nigeria never strong to detect hepatitis. For Nigeria. Ah, then they detect hepatitis. Okay. It's easy. We have rapid test. What do we need now? Your blood, only blood. So we need we get um, a rapid test. Let you come out in fifteen minutes. All these strip strip. In fifteen minutes, you get your test. If you need longer method, there are also um, um, longer elongated method like the ELISA method. But those ones now for confirmatory. But if not just to come check your hepatitis, we they do them. And the thing where you need to do them, they are very well. For inside the United States, 95% of adults will get hepatitis B, they able to clear the virus. The remaining 5%, they develop serious hepatitis B. People will get this infection from bed, get better chance to get serious infection. Sabi people also talk say 15% to 25% of people will get serious infections on top of hepatitis go die from this virus. So doctor, any cure do for hepatitis? Cure not there for viral infection in the world. Any viral infection, kata, not get cure, now virus. You get them, you take all the medicine for chemists. Now when you're ready to go, go, go. Most of the cough, now virus, they not get cure. When you want go, you go. HIV, virus, no cure. Uh, Ebola, virus, no cure. But you can manage. Manage different from cure. If cure, then I'll give you the medicine you wear, just like uh, antibiotics or, or something. That's cure. 
but manage now to just the manage you, manage you, manage you, manage you until the virus decides, yeah, you don't do, I don't go. Then you wear. See, the cure, we know they worry about, say, uh, we won't cure for hepatitis because the truth be say, now only small percentage of people will be cure, feel cure. But medicine day, injection day, we go feel suppress the hepatitis way way. We go feel bring them down so that the thing will st stop, go cause katakata for the liver at all. So that, now that thing where they preach, say, okay, nobody say we go feel cure everybody. Mm -hmm. Some people go feel, we go feel achieve cure, but not everyone. For most people, we, if you manage them, you will reduce the load of the virus. So they, you see, no go feel even touch the body, destroy them at all. Pekin's them, no they left out, as their feet get hepatitis from their mama. This one, now the most common way where person feet transfer the virus and almost all Pekin's where get them, go develop serious hepatitis B. The mother feet pass them as they deliver. We they call them vertical transmission from mother to child. If nobody during pregnancy, during okay. pregnancy, you know they, you know they transmit them. Now during delivery, that, that time we blow the exchange during delivery, now that time. But for women, we get them. The thing where they talk to, to them, we say, we go warn them. After doing all the tests that we go do for normal um, hepatitis, we we'll tell them, say, anytime they won't give birth. Mm -hmm. They will get one special um, injection. They call them hepatitis B immunoglobulin. That immunoglobulin, they will, they will give the child within 12 hours, or maybe up to 24 hours within the time where the child, then bond the child. That one will make sure, say, the um, hepatitis will go to spoil the picking body. For inside 12 people, one person will get hepatitis B or C. This one means, say, needs day for people to get better knowledge about this disease and know how them fit protect themselves. If in a week, 10 people come for hepatitis, one person get them. Now serious matter you do. So people, they get them. Many people get them. They work out. So what do you go advise people where they hear you now? What do I go advise people to say, let them they do frequent screening. Sometimes, Make them just go, go check all these things. And make them, they take care of themselves. Hand washing, even when they bowl at home, they teach us hand washing. Hand washing is okay. And hepatitis B, now one of the sexually transmitted diseases. Make them, they protect themselves as then they do anything. But it go good make you know say, this one not mean say hepatitis B or C must lead to death centers. But if you discover I'm early, if it save you. Even though in the whole world, 30% mm -hmm. of the whole world, they get hepatitis B, one time or the other. 30% of the whole world never die from hepatitis. Very, very, very few people don't die from hepatitis. As I they warn everybody now, mm -hmm. you, even if, uh, if, if, if even if you go and the doctor knows, say me you do the test, just just, go just on. ask the doctor say I won't do hepatitis test. For most for people where they come here now because they won't donate blood that they come or they won't do they won't start new job the jobs they make you do or they won't employ them as a nanny now all the people where they see often with that but you, so they will come they they don't they carry the disease around for years they know no. For most of you, they don't even know how they catch them. They don't know how it, it enter their body. So, but if you do the test and you show, say, you get them, you go nowhere to go. If you know, say, you know, get them, you go protect yourself. So, that is the essence of all this. So, that make they tell people, say, this disease, they will, they kill you. The number of people where they get for admission here, where they die from cancer. And the main cause for that cancer now, hepatitis B, for liver cancer. Something where we feel money. Some way we don't feel treats and the thing we go suppress and way no go feel destroy the liver. And they come with some people go come with complication. The complication you get one way they call liver cirrhosis. That one way they do the belly go swear, the leg will swear, the person go tie, no go feel chop. Yeah. You know, you know, suppose you get to that stage before you come to hospital. But unfortunately, now the kind of thing way they see with that. Now when they come with complication. Yeah.
roughly 350 million people now get hepatitis B for inside world but other world. This one and number where we not need to ignore at all at all. The message they very clear. Go test yourself. And if you never get vaccine on top of hepatitis, go get them. Know the symptoms where they on top of hepatitis and how you could take avoid them or even avoid say you transmit them. Another good news we say if you get treatment for inside Nigeria, only if you go see your doctor. Now join the voice today where you go informate people and also yarn them about hepatitis and how they could take avoid them. The duty where we all need to give ourselves and even our loved ones, they say you go need to test yourself today on top of hepatitis B. Join me again next time for another interesting topic on top 30 minutes. My name na Uwi Ehigamusoi. Una good night. <laughs>